She's a busy baking mom, and Erica Dunn is kicking off our holiday cookie countdown. Yeah, her business is called the Tattered Whisk. I can't believe she has a business at all. Seven <laughs> kids, one-year-old twins, and I remember when the twins were one, and I was not baking. So congrats to you. I know, right? Yeah. It's busy. <laughs> How did you get started in this? I mean, this has been a passion of yours for a while? You know, not really. Okay. I, when I was pregnant with the twins, I started watching some cookie decorating videos, and then took a class after the twins, a little bit of time went by, you know? And then um, I started making some samples and April came around and I had a ton of cookies. And I was like, well, what am I gonna do with all these? So I took them to the school and passed them out to the staff. I started a website and ever since then, I'm making like hundreds and thousands of cookies a week. And you like crazy. send a note to Mark Murphy and <laughs> said, I have this business and now you're doing Packers cookies. Yeah, I am, I know. And that's congratulations. It's, it's, yeah, it's just, and a lot of so cookies great. for the Packers. Yes. <laughs> You got I do. A, a lot of cookies, yes. Right. I have a thousand cookies coming up. So. Okay. Oh, wow. <laughs> so wish me luck. They're beautiful. We, uh, I think like what I really need advice on when I do sugar cookies, mm -hmm. well, first of all, we're sharing your co sugar cookie recipe with our viewers. Yep. Um, and then when it comes to decorating and the royal icing, like I try to be that good one that's like piping the outside right. and then yeah. flooding the inside. It never quite works out right. the way I want it to. So can you give us some well, tips? Well, you know, it could be the icing you're using. So right now I'm actually selling these kits where you can, I bake the cookies, I make the icing for you, so, and it makes it really easy. Nice. Do you and have a different consistency icing in so, there? So yeah, like, so the, the oh. consistency is really what matters. Okay. So these kits are able to, you know, you can decorate and you can do techniques where you can put colors inside. They come with sprinkles, so if your kids want to add the sprinkles to the trees mm. and to all the other stuff, That's however nice. you want to do it, but these will hold, so they will stay inside as opposed to other kits where it's going to be a little more messy. Yeah, sometimes even if I pipe, it just goes outside the piping. Right. And after you pipe on the outside, do you have to let that dry before you plug so the inside? So that's what I do. So what I would do is I would okay, start show here. show us a little bit. So, I'm just going to move this yes. one so we can so see. So if you start here and you want to come around like this, okay. Okay. And you're going to fill in. And then you're going to do this all the way around the cookie, okay, and fill in. Now, I use this tool right here, but a toothpick works. Oh. So grab a toothpick and just kind of move it around. It's really pliable, so don't be afraid of it. Move it around, you can get all the way out to the edges, like that. Okay. Then, so once you finish all the red, it's gonna look like this, sorry, excuse me. So it's gonna sure. look like this, and you wanna let it dry. So let it okay. just, it doesn't have to be completely dry, just crust over, which okay. will be so maybe about 15 sh minutes. Show it off here. Yeah, so then you can see. <laughs> <laughs> so then once you finish that, then you can come in with the next color, because this keeps it separate. Otherwise, okay. it's all going to bleed together. Oh, sure. Okay. So this way, you come in here with this color, and now I've created a separation here. And is that still a harder consistency? Um, this one is, this one's a, kind of like a mix a between a medium and a really runny consistency just so that it's easier for people to work with. Oh sure. If I gave you something that was really runny it might run all over yeah. so I get it a little tighter and then you can add sprinkles to the <gasps> oh, top cute. while it's wet so then you end up you know you finish the whole thing off and once it's dry it can look you know for that like sparkly these. look. Yep. Yes. And so these, the cookie kit will do so the cookie these kit, three. So I have two kits. One comes with this which is the two trees, two snowflakes and two candy canes and then oh. I have an ugly sweater, uh, sweater one. Oh that I comes with love six that. Six sweaters. Yeah. And I'm working on getting videos up so that okay. people can watch them. So, yes. they, so it'll we can help get you decorate. Yeah. yeah. Because see, you can take colors and put them inside and make it, this will fall inside oh, yeah. if you want to do dots. So there's all kinds of different techniques that you can use oh, so with helpful. these icing. So, you know, you can play around and it's a really fun way and, to and you learn get, to decorate. Right. It, you get confidence to learn yeah. how to do this yourself. Right. And look right. at the magazine. I don't even know how to do it, but now you're <laughs> Right. And the more you play around with it, the better you'll get at it. And having the right tools, I think, is important. So this icing yes. is perfect for this. Okay. And can we buy the cookies yes. if we don't want to decorate? Okay. Yes. <laughs> All right. <laughs> yes, yes, I do that too. <laughs> You can see even more fantastic designs and get details on placing an order. Here is the website to go to. I'm getting this kit, thetatteredwhisk.com. Congratulations Thank to you, you and your business I and all those kiddos you. helping you out, too. Thank you. Thank you, guys. Thank you.